Hello Capricorn, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back Capricorn, your time is valuable. I say this every week, so let's jump straight into it. Here we go, I'll clear the deck for you first. So Capricorn, for the collective watching this, let's explore your person of interest. So it does not actually matter whether you are in connection with them or not. Perhaps you want to see, can I take it to the next level? Um, maybe you're just on a, a little bit of a temporary break. But uh, let's see everything about your person of interest, the one that is still in your heart space. Let's see. Let's also kind of dive into their true thoughts, feelings. How are you feeling about them right now? It will all be uncovered here for you, Capricorn. Your person of interest. It's going to be a very specific person. So here we go. That one person in your mind here that uh, perhaps you want to take it to the next level. Perhaps there's been too much struggles, challenges. You're probably not in communication. We'll see. And also, Capricorn, if you do like this reading, if it does speak certain volumes to you and you think, wow, that actually really sounds like my story, my person, I do invite you to check out your optional extended reading. And the link to the extended reading is in the description box below Capricorn. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. I have clearly labeled it with uh, capital letters, link to your extended reading. And the purpose of that Capricorn is that I will be focusing 100% from your person's perspective. So that reading will be done from their perspective about you and this connection. I'll be looking into their true thoughts, feelings, hopes, fears, wishes, actions, and what do they hope to achieve as an outcome. So that's a really good way to have a peek over the fence uh, where we kind of see everything exclusively from your person's perspective and what's going on around them. So let's come back to this reading. And Capricorn, let's do this. Your person of interest, what's going on? Let's see. I usually find out pretty early what's going on between the both of you. Oh, okay, that's a sign to stop shuffling. So here we go, two more. Last one. All right, for my lovely Capricorns, here we go. All right, so what do we have at the bottom of the deck? What's unseen, what's simmering, the overall energy is? Ah, the topic of the Hierophant, number five, changes, Taurus energy here. Your person can be any star sign, but it is the topic of commitment, of marriage, long-term commitment, seeing something through, but it's also perhaps going down a more traditional route, but doing things the right way. Let's see. Ah, okay, you're questioning everything about this commitment with this person with that nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. You've become a little bit defensive now, but not in a bad way. You're just more, as better to say it, apprehensive in regards to this connection with this person. Perhaps certain things are not adding up here or it's just dragging on for too long or it's not working out the way it is or perhaps your person is not acting in the right manner like the Hierophant here. Um, but, you know, we do have to point out that there is, you know, uh, with the Nine of Wands, it does come with a bit of gossip here as well. Perhaps there is a lot of gossip happening behind the scenes. You may be aware of this or you're feeling it where something's not adding up here. Maybe your person's under, could be a negative influence here as well. I must point out that this Knight of Wands is the Wounded Warrior and the Wounded Warrior never ever gives up here. Okay, I'm seeing here that, ooh, all right. You are seeking some level of success with this person though. I think for you Capricorn, it's like, I'm gonna try one more time and only one more time because we have the Six of Wands. That is Leo energy right there. The Six of Wands is personal victory. It's like, you know what, I tried. Regardless of the outcome, I tried. Or I'm happy I got something off my chest here. Or I'm happy that I just, I met them in the middle. I tried one more time here. It's all to do about commitment or marriage. So for some of you, yes, this was probably a very committed relationship or you were seeking commitment with this person um, or even marriage. And there we go, regardless of gender, there we go. That's you right there, you're looking to the future. I think here you're, you're actually really handling this with a lot of grace, a lot of humility here. You're very grounded here. But I'm wondering what is it? It's almost like you're compelled to try one more time. And I think you will because we have the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy, this is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. For some of you, this may be a long distance connection. Regardless if your person is in the same state or a different country or a different state, 
This is a flurry of movement. It's quick, rapid movement after a period where things are kind of flatlined here for you. And the Six of Swords, look at that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aquarius energy. We got two sixes. I love sixes. They're all about healing. But this is the thing, though. Um, it really depends on what your person says to you, because I'm seeing a lot of communication here. I always say, light your phone up. You know what I mean? Charge your phone. It's going to be lighting up here. Um, perhaps your person may surprise you by saying, can we move forward together after we got choppy waters there? And it's all smooth sailing here. So it depends what your person's going to say to you, though. But I think you've kind of reached the end of your tether. But there's a part of you thinking, what if I just try one more time? Um, with this person whatever challenges whether it was a breakup uh, or you're on a temporary break here or you're you know waiting to see the next phase of this uh, connection here there is a certain level of success that's coming your way but I understand your apprehension here you're seeking something a lot more grounded stable promising here all right let's get to your main reading what do we have yep the eight of pentacles Virgo energy some of you you may have met this person somewhere in your professional life that's for some of you that's just confirming your situation uh this definitely could have been you know through work your um your studies something to do with your finances but regardless of where you met this person um it, this shows here that i kind of dare i say this is that you're you're willing to work one more time on this and to put the hard work the loyalty the love the effort um to this person but perhaps just one more time though just one more time and you're hoping that they're going to do the same here as well Let's see. Yeah, something's going to happen here, Capricorn, because we have the Knight of Wands or Rods, same thing. Sagittarius, Aries and Leo energy. So this is also the traveling night. So for those that if you are in a long distance connection, I do see your person moving towards you. After all, we do have that Eight of Wands. That's movement all geared here towards you. Um, but this is my call to action night. So it seems here we have this night looking forward. Um, I'm very inclined to say here that your person is kind of thinking, well, I'd like to move forward. I would. I know it's going to require a lot of work, but I think I'm prepared to do this. Yep. Something's going to happen. Something's got to give with that Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a breakthrough. It's cutting through all the past pain, all the illusions, yes, all the assumptions, all the white lies, anything that was just unspoken. Look at that. We've actually got the sword pointing straight up. We've got clarity coming your way. It's your person's duty. They know they owe you that much is to come clean here. Um, and it's all to do here with committing to, and this could also lead to marriage, but it's about commitment. It's about joining together again. The high priestess, Pisces energy. So Capricorn, are you keeping your feelings to yourself at the moment? You know, I feel like this has almost exhausted you. It's just to the point, it's like, oh God, Let's do this again. You know, let's go on this merry-go-round again, though. You see, the high priestess is she or he who already knows, the keeper of secrets here as well. And I think that's one thing that you don't like in a relationship is where there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of mysteries here. Um, but I'm almost seeing here is that uh, you're, you may be working a lot more distracting yourself so you don't really think about this person anymore. It helps you move on, right? But I do have to tell you something. This combination is excellent because it shows here that your person is going to come clean about their true thoughts, about their true feelings here about you. More Pisces energy with the hanged man. Um, so this is the beating heart of the reading and this can often show mutual energies here. So again, I would have said probably last year at the start of the, this year, you wouldn't have gone running back to this person. You wouldn't have chased after them, but not now. I do see here that you're focused on other areas of your life. You've got your priorities like really good. You've got all your ducks lined up here. Just when it comes to this person though, it's almost like, yeah, let me think about it now. Um, things have changed. Your perspective has changed and that's a good thing because it shows that you're really, you're still growing up quite a lot and you've learned some big lessons here. Now, whatever your person says to you, I see you chewing on what they're saying. So we're kind of listening, we're observing, observing rather than talking. Now, this comes with also a level of self-sacrifice where your person, I have to say this, they may have to actually leave their old lifestyle behind um, or if, you know, the topic here, if they were committed or married to someone else, they may have to leave that behind as well. But I see they may do it quite secretly here as well. We have the emperor, Aries energy. That is the divine masculine. All the kings wrapped up into one here. This could represent to you or you may be dealing here with the divine masculine. So take it, you know, and put it in its appropriate box here. But I do have to say on its own, I do see a person taking action. In, in other words, they're kind of embodying the energy of the emperor. It's like, I'm going to 
do this self-sacrifice. I'm not going to tell a lot of people, but here I actually absolutely want to come clean, perhaps even before the end of the year. You know, end on a good note and take action here. Let's see. You got my favorite card in hopes, fears, and wishes, Capricorn. There is light at the end of the tunnel because you got my number one favorite card, the sun ruled by Leo. And you're both looking at each other here. It is about pure happiness, joy, bliss, blessings, the return of physical health. And another thing that I like is that it is the card, the ultimate card of illumination. It is the happiest card here as well. So whatever was hidden here, the shine, the, the, the sun, basically, the rays of the sun shine upon it. But this is only because your person is coming clean here. Mm. What do we have in the near future? It keeps getting better. We have the star ruled by Aquarius, the card of destiny. Hope, faith, renewal, emotional healing, physical, emotional healing as well. So what is it your personal wish, Capricorn, when it comes to this person? If you had to really sit with yourself and say, my wish with this person is, da, 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 it's going to come true. After a period here where things are like, oh, I don't know, they're going to take action to get themselves out of this. And here they come with the star. They literally think the world of you, the star here. This is my person. What do we have in the out? <clears throat> Look at that. My voice just broke. Look at that. So that yeah, someone's throat chakra here could be blocked. That I mean, that rarely happens to me. So here they come to tell you the truth. They'll be taking action. What do they want? We've got pure happiness here, a wish fulfilled. When it comes to this person, what is the outcome here? Amazing. You've got a passionate new start with this person, Capricorn. Look at that. This is something where it gets those butterflies, you know, fluttering again in your stomach. It builds up your confidence. Suddenly you're excited now. It's like, okay, I was just about to throw in the towel here with this person. But it all starts because they reach out. It all starts because they reach out. I understand your apprehension here, Capricorn. Boy, would I be apprehensive here as well. Look at that. Ooh. In other words, why is it that I couldn't, you know, um, commit to you? Why is it that things went south? Why was I being so secretive here? Often this happens if, okay, if your person was committed or married to someone else, if they were not ready, if they had to choose you and someone else. This, this I want to see as an outcome. This is amazing. You're not going to have to wait too long. I mean, it's not that you actually sit and wait for this person, but if you've kind of been thinking, oh, what's going to happen? Yeah, you're not going to have to wait too too long there's the hanged man i think both of you are waiting for something and now as your person is realizing okay i better do it <laughs> because i feel like this is all they're doing all right capricorn please and their person this is this is a really happy outcome i'm conceding this three more two more and the last one perfect all right capricorn please and their person of interest their person here. Let's see. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Who's been holding back? I think this has been your person. Yep. That's Gemini energy. This is when your person's feeling just mentally trapped, held back. It's like, God, I really, I really want to come back to Capricorn. I really want to reach out to Capricorn. But there is something mental going on here. This is a mental self-imprisonment. None of the swords are touching your person. Literally, all they have to do is kind of wiggle out of this. Yeah, and remove the blindfolds and just walk out. So they're making the situation a lot more complicated or bigger than actually what it is. But I also feel that they're holding back here because of a guilty conscience. If I see the eight and the nine of swords, I know here that perhaps they were not honest with you because we do have some secrets. We have some mysteries, perhaps even some white lies here to not hurt you. But it's still a secret here. Hmm. Ah, they've always wanted a brand new beginning with you, Capricorn. They've always wanted this. But there is something, for God knows why, in their mind, they're like, yeah, I wanted this, but I can't do this because of this, this, and this. These are just mental excuses, but they've always wanted this with you. They've always want Capricorn, this is getting a really good... You make them happy. Look at this. You've got the sun again. See how we're getting repeat cards? We're getting the same energies. This is solidifying the current energies between you and your person. We've got pure happiness. I think Capricorn, you're going to be quite happy to hear from them because we have a page of wands right next to the sun. Yep. And here you are. That's you. That's strictly Capricorn energy, the four of pentacles, even though, and because I think you're going to take this quite slow. We've got very strong Virgo energy, but this can represent you. We have Taurus and Capricorn there. That's my favorite night. Even though I think that their message here or some form of communique is going to make you really happy. I just think here is a form of self-protection. You're just still going to keep things to yourself. 
until perhaps we have that breakthrough here, that mental breakthrough or things here, they start to just be a bit more established. You know, it's almost like you're both on the same page. You know that, but this is looking really good. I'm kind of thinking the timing in the past was not right for the both of you because your person actually may have to walk away and sacrifice something just to get to you. So that could be a relationship, could be moving away from family. Let's talk about that Eight of Pentacles. Yep, the Two of Wands, Aries energy. I think you're both going to meet in the middle. It is literally stepping into the unknown, taking that first step here, waving that white flag, especially for your person. After a lot of thought, a lot of consideration of thinking, do I actually want this passionate new start? Is it going to pay off? And I'm, dare I say this Capricorn, I think for the majority of you, it absolutely will. We've got some action cards here and they're they're good action cards. So let's talk about that Knight of Wands. Yep, is the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Wow. That is why your person is kind of galloping towards you because that's the second fastest night and it's being clarified by the Five of Cups. Your person knows here. It's like they're picking up kind of on your energy that you're very disappointed in them. How things ended. And they're feeling quite embarrassed, guilty, ashamed here. They might be over drinking secretly here. We do have some secrets here just to kind of numb because alcohol is a depressant, for example. So it just numbs their pain. It pushes everything down here. So the fives are about changes and challenges, but they're also about regret. But now they want to come clean with that ace of swords. Mm hmm. You could have been between you and someone else. Libra energy. Look at that. So they reached a fork in the road. They know what they need to do. They know that they want to come to you. They want to come clean. But if this was between you and someone else, they know they've made the wrong decision here. And I'm almost hearing them saying, listen, I'm only human. <laughs> but, um, but listen, we're dealing with adults here. I, and I understand that people make mistakes. But um, they will, listen, they better hurry up because I, I do see here that, you know, you've got that six of swords, remember? You're prepared to move on without them though. But um, yeah, look at that. I think they may have to sacrifice something here. Let's talk about the high priestess, seven of wands, Leo energy. Some things in life, Capricorn, some things are worth fighting for. And I do see here that your person may surprise you reaching out into the unknown fighting for you. And I think their actions may make you happy. After all, actions speak louder than words, right? Um, I do see here though, that you are still a little bit defensive here, a bit closed off. And I understand you completely because it could have been secrets. There could have been gossip behind your back. Absolutely. But I love it that you're being quite assertive. You're you know, standing your ground, you're defending your position here. Um, and I just think the main thing that your person is secretly worried about is that you may be judging them harshly or people close around you that really care for you may judge you, well, may judge them harshly here as well. But despite that though, they're still gonna be taking action though. Let's talk about the hanged man. Queen of Wands, yep, they're going to be taking action. And this queen, regardless of gender, is kind of looking a little bit to the future. It's like, I've got to get up from my chair, take my staff with me, my wand, and I've got to take action because we have the Queen of Wands and the Emperor both looking at each other. Yep, I think your person here may not take no for an answer after everything that they're prepared to leave behind here. Um, they're going to take action. Let's talk about the Emperor. Yep, is the strength card, Leo energy. This speaks of unconditional love here, perhaps that you both have for each other. Although Capricorn, I think you're a lot more realistic when it comes to this. It's like, yes, I may always love you, but if it's not right for me, I'm going to move on though. Whereas this person is moving towards you here because of unconditional love here. And I think they're going to reveal to you why they have been holding back to the extreme. Not because they wanted to, it's because they felt trapped. They couldn't have been choosing you and someone else, which they realized it bit them in the bum. It was the wrong decision. So they are gathering up their confidence. And I don't know where they're getting it from, but um, they're coming across the strength and the emperor. That's someone that's pretty confident here. Courage of conviction, very assertive saying, Capricorn, we need to talk. <laughs> um, I don't want this to be over. Not at all. Let's talk about the happiest card in the deck. We are overcoming we just saw the King of Pentacles, there you are, the Three of Swords. So just like I was saying, if your person was choosing you and someone else here, boy, was that regretful Libra energy. And you know what I love about this combination is that this is a major arcana, way more powerful than a minor arcana. And this is all about healing, shining the light and healing this broken heart. So your person is not coming back with the intentions to hurt you even more. No, they want the sun there to shine upon this. Nobody wins with our Three of Swords. Everyone's heart gets broken. 
Yeah, no wonder you're a bit defensive. You don't want your heart broken again, especially by the same person. If you invest your time, you don't even want to waste any more time. Absolutely not. So your person is making the choice of coming here towards you. You're going to meet them in the middle here. Despite this, this is a big risk because it's in hopes, fears and wishes. But you've got what I love is that this card is surrounded by a lot of healing energy. Let's talk about the beautiful star. Yeah, it was you, the King of Pentacles. And we also remember we had the Queen of Pentacles, the perfect match of what? Commitment, stability, marriage here, having a strong, firm foundation. I absolutely love, regardless of gender, how they're viewing you, Capricorn, a good head on your shoulders. You, you've got your life together. If you say that you don't, I'm telling you right now, you do. You're grounded here. You just, you know what you want in life. And here they've been kind of flailing, being a bit flaky, wishy-washy. And now it's like, no more. When is this going to end? This is now, this is all falls on your person. The Ace of Wands is clarified by what? Because clearly they want a passionate new start with you. Do you want a passionate new start with them? What's going to happen? Let's see. What's, what's the final outcome with this person? The be all and end all. It's going to happen. The Ace of Pentacles, a solid new beginning here with this person. Look at that. You may find yourself in a couple of months in a very committed um, relationship, probably even moving in together or moving back in together, even talking about the future. It could even be about marriage. We don't all have to get married here. But I'm seeing that here, you know, it's almost like you're a little bit looking to the future here. Your back is turned away from this. And the outcome is two Aces. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This is amazing, Capricorn. I have to tell you, your person, your person of interest, you probably are not talking or you're probably like a little bit wishy-washy in and out talking to this person. There's going to be a shift. There's going to be a change. And I don't know where your person is getting all this courage from, but look what, look how they're approaching you. Wow. And, you know, the strength card, as I always say, it always says, you know, approach the situation with honey instead of vinegar. Yes, softly, because your person, I, they're coming back with love, with passion, with gusto, with a purpose now. You got the sun twice. You got the ace of one twice. You got some of the best cards here, um, such as the star, the ace of pentacles. It's going to be fantastic, Capricorn. I win nothing by lying to you. And what I love is that the sun is healing this. No more of this. No more crying. No more secrets. No more lies. Now your person, if they were choosing you between someone else, I realized uh, I made the wrong choice here. And I think they did it out of fear, not because they loved the person more. It was out of fear here, perhaps fear of change, um, fear of, well, OK, I know this person more. And what if I go to Capricorn and, you know, it, this all falls down. It was just out of fear, Capricorn. This person still loves the heck out of you. And if you do want to hear from them with that eight of wands, I'll say charge your phone because they're about to call you. This is far from over. I actually love the ending of this, Capricorn. You've got this. So what I'm going to do now in your optional extended reading, I'll be using uh, four different decks. And in, I usually use the twin flame messages. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually gonna use the timing cards. So that gets really specific on certain timing here as well. So I'm going to uh, pack this up, use the four different decks, and we're going to be doing this reading exclusively from your person's perspective and only from their perspective. It's gonna be very interesting. Um, to kind of a peek over the fence, you know, through the veil and see everything from their perspective about you. I'm almost hearing like, it's just about time. It's about time that this happened. So no better time than the present, right Capricorn? So I'll see you on the other side. As a reminder, the link is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. I will see you on the other side. But if this is where we depart, I wish you the very, very best. And remember the outcome is beautiful. I love it. Please take care Capricorn. Bye.